what's going on, y'all? You're tuning in to another exciting episode of It's Just Mario Show. And I'm Mario Ramon, your host. And today, we're going to do our weekly recap of The Real Housewives of Atlanta. Entitled, Peaches Don't Grow in Hollywood. Oh, that's right, baby. Nene had to give it to the girls the way they liked it. Because she she provided um, beautiful accommodations for the girls to come fly from Georgia to come visit her in Los Angeles. And, you know, Nene, she's a bit of a control freak, and it's okay. Call a thing a thing, Ayala Van Zandt said. But she's a bit of a control freak, and she wants you to show up on time. Now, she can show up late, but your ass better show up on time. Holla if you hear me. Uh, it's the truth, and I love you. But anyway... The girls showed up to Miss Nene's house and, um, the you know, they were trying to go up the Hollywood Hills in the limousine and the limousine got stuck up in the hills. Now, they called Miss Nene and you know she don't get good reception all the way up in the hills because it's up there. Right. Up there. And so she's like, huh? Y'all stuck? Stuck where? Huh? Where's Greg? Greg? Stuck? I'll come and get you. Where's my purse? Do I have a purse? Where's my assistant? Where am I? Am I in Atlanta or L.A.? Hello? So Nene went down the hill to go get the girls from the limousine because the limousine driver, I don't know why, you know, why would you get a Hummer and you knew you was coming to the Hollywood Hills? Don't you know your route? Like seriously, why would you ask ladies to walk up the hills in stilettos because your ass can't turn the curve? Well, y'all better get another limousine that can um, fit here, but I am sitting right here in my red bottoms, honey. I'm going to sit right down on my pie, honey, until a limousine comes to pick me up. I rebuke in the name of Jesus that you ask me to walk up the hill in hills. You crazy bitch. Oh, they even got me where I lived. I just couldn't believe it. And Candy, you didn't even get out the car, honey. She's like, it is coyotes out here, bitch. It is coyotes out here. Now, I'm used to Hollywood, but I'm not used to the Hollywood Hills. Go on and sit down on it. So, Miss Nene, she um, opened up the scene with Greg, and she was preparing her um, house for the party um, and the dinner for the girls and everything. You know, she's been planning for this. And she has her beautiful um, China out. It ain't China, it's China. But like Nene. Nene, not Nene. Right, China. She had her China out and everything. And I knew there was going to be a damn problem when Kenya Moore said, Nene, I have some furniture and storage I can let you borrow, but do believe, bitch, that given the proper moment, I am going to embarrass you and let everybody know I'll let you borrow my furniture. I know it and y'all know it. You knew that that was going to be a problem. And when the girl showed up three hours late to Nene's house for the dinner, it was a problem. And Kenya Moore was like, well, at least she can let me eat some off the table I let her borrow. No, that's not the point right now. The point is, y'all ass did show up three hours late, two hours and 45 minutes, because you know we love to stretch the truth in Atlanta. But it was two hours and 50 minutes. Let's give it that. We'll give it five minutes instead of 15 minutes. But And I know, if you showed up and you weren't my mother... Who had just got off of airplane. The airport is 30 minutes away. But you still need to make it here in 15 minutes. Because you are that much late. You're late. You're late. And you're 2 hours and 50 minutes late. And no you're not getting them um, through these doors. And Nene was serious as crib death. To a first time mother. She was like I'm serious Greg. I'm not playing with these bitches. They ain't getting in this house. I agree with Nene. Y'all let me know what y'all feel. Okay, if somebody can show up and meet you at dinner two hours and 50 minutes later, honey, you are boo-boo, the fool. And the Bible says call no man a fool, so um, you just boo-boo. Just call him boo-boo. Mm-hmm. Um, and you know, Kenny, uh, what's on the candy? Hey, never seen Hollywood Hills and her life. She's the only seen, you know, Capitol Records, and they put them up in fabulous hotels in Hollywood. So she just had never... And then Nene prepared this, you know, she had caterers and things. It was so sad that, you know, they really didn't get to experience the experience. And Nene was going to try and show them, you know, a better way. Nene is the um, hood Harriet Tubman. She's trying to lead y'all from the hood to extravagantness. 
and she's trying, but all the slaves just can't come. Okay, so who? What else we have? Uh, Kenya Moore cooking dinner the next day. Oh no, breakfast. She cooking breakfast the next day for the girls. Now I wouldn't eat a damn thing Kenya Moore made because I know me on a shot of a doubt she got a little sugar and recipe in it. Gonna sit down on it because they got Portia and Phaedra. So half of the party she hates. And I'm pretty much sure the other half she will hate. So she put a little sugar gave her pee in that breakfast, honey. I wouldn't eat nothing that girl made. <laughs> Sometimes I crack myself. And so when they had the dinner, you know, Kenya Moore got upset because uh, you know, uh what what's her uh Portia's husband's name, whatever, Cordell, her, the, his 40th birthday, they invited Kenya's ex-boyfriend, Walter, and she got upset, set your ass back down and deal with this situation like a woman, I'm sick and tired of you, bar none, you do this all the time, you get up when you can't deal with a situation and you walk away, sit down like a mature adult and let's talk about this, I am sick and tired of you throwing your little temper tantrums, you are 144 years old and it's not cute, and cute it's not, okay? Right, remix, bitch. Do it backwards. Hello, sit your ass down and let's talk about this. Uh, what else we got? Oh, I did want to point out the shout out to Miss Nene Leak's shoes when she invited the girls over and she was like, This is my house, talking like Sandra on 227, where her shoes were fierce. I know it and you knew it. Everybody want to hate on poor Nene, but I love her, you know, I do. You know, and what else do we have? It's not a whole lot. This was a very exciting episode. And um, it, it, well, I won't say very. It was an exciting episode. And I don't know. Does it seem like this season is very, like, stretched out and long? Maybe it's because of the Super Bowl and the Oscars or something. And, but it's long. I'm like, well, I'm waiting on the season finale. Um, but it, it doesn't seem to go there. It's like a dream you can't wake up from. Definitely, I want to say Boo Bears. Uh, I definitely uh, would love to see you at my sister's room. I'm going to be there on February 14th. Shout out to Miss Julie Osborne. I love you, Boo. Julie Osborne heads the comedy segment uh, for my sister's room in East Point in Atlanta. You definitely can Google it. But um, we get a crack a in, in my sister's room doing the comedy. We do the comedy showcase, baby, and we give it to you the way you like it. And if you think I give it to you the way you like it on YouTube, you have got to see the live stand-up show. Okay. Okay. Holla. We do give it to you the way you like it. And like I said, big ups to Miss Julie Osborne. I love you. And also big ups to Ian uh, from the jungle. Um, I also performed at the cockpit last Saturday. And right, I had an ordeal with that because they had emailed me the address and I'd never heard of it or been there. And so I'm at this uh, restaurant like on Boulevard at Edgewood. And uh, I was like, have you ever heard of this address? And they were like, well, this is 466. Um, and I'm like, well, this is 465 I'm looking for. And so they were like, well, what's the name of the place? And I'm like embarrassed to tell them the name of the place because I'm just doing comedy. I didn't want them to think I was going to get whatever the name of the place was. And so finally I was like, the cockpit. And then they was like, oh, do y'all know where the cockpit is? Right. That could have been part of my skit when I went to the cockpit and did it. So I went to the cockpit and I was doing my regular jokes, you know, talking about family and things. Oh no. They wanted hard, baby. <laughs> they wanted consistent and hard. And I had to give it to them the way they like it. Because I was like, oh so y'all not buying what I'm selling? Alright, you motherfuckers must not know about me. Right. Know your audience, boo. Know your audience. And baby, once I saw that they wanted to them the way they like it and I love you guys at the cockpit and I say hello Ian and hey Julie and I'll see you guys next time on It's Just Mario if you do like this video definitely like it and subscribe to Mario Ramon channel and I'll see you guys next time on It's Just Mario we're gonna jam up out of here like you normally do boo uh, mm, mm. don't this look like a Illuminati shirt this is scaring me I'm going to take this off right now. I'm going to put on a um, striped shirt.